I want to know exactly. I want to know exactly what is the mental problem of you Eagle fans. What is your problem? Cowboy fans, Cowboy Nation, this is Cowboy Legends for Life coming back at you again with another video with my host that you like the last one. Hey, listen, they're losing their fucking minds out there, these Eagle fans, okay? I mean, I've never heard this much crying from infants and children, okay? This much crying and fucking, I'm, I'm tearing, bro. Then, then I'm hearing from goddamn Eagles fans. What is the matter with y'all, okay? All of a sudden... I'm saying something about your quarterback when you've been talking shit about my quarterback for fucking three seasons. And you're upset of me saying shit about your quarterback and your team. You're pissed off now. Because you know why? You're losing. That's why you're pissed now. You're losing. So lose. Be pissed. I don't care. Have you ever seen me stop talking? Have you ever seen anybody got me to stop talking? Can you get me to stop talking? Hell fucking no. You can get yourself hurt trying to get me to stop talking. Don't fuck with me, okay? I'm getting up, I'm getting pretty fucking pissed right now, all right? Talking that shit on my page is going to get you a reaction that you don't like from me, all right? The Eagles are playing like shit. The leader of that shit team is a shit quarterback named Carson Wentz. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he's not a bad quarterback. I told you I like his, 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 his play. I told you I like the, his abilities. You see, I can say that once again because I'm a man. You guys who shit on my quarterback, who know that his, your, my quarterback is better than yours, who know he keeps be out playing him, you, have, you don't have it in you as a man to admit it. So I will not have to respect you. I will never respect you because you're nothing but a bunch of bitches to me. Okay? All of you. Okay? I don't give a fuck who you think you are. All right, I'm gonna continue to say what I said about your team, your team and your fucking quarterback. And I got, I got his head in the trash can because why? He's trash. All right, he has his his fucking stats have never overplayed Dak Prescott. Not one single fucking year, not one single fucking game, not one single fucking time. And I'm supposed to fucking praise him because PFF praised him. I'm supposed to like him because he got a hundred and eight million dollar fucking contract guarantee. You must be out of your fucking mind. My quarterback is far worth more than that shit and far better than he is. All right? Period. You see him coming into his own fourth year. He was already into his own. He ain't never had a losing season like your quarterback did. He's been in the postseason several times. Your quarterback has not. Okay? Your quarterback, again, when he lost to the Detroit, the Detroit Lions, lost to a, a, a team that's above 500. I want you to think about that for a second. Lost again to a team that's above 500. He can't beat above 500 teams. Check his record. It's a losing record. Dak has a, look, a, a winning record against teams that are above 500, at 500, and below 500. Okay? Don't tell me about what the fuck. Who? Because he beat the, the Giants and he beat the goddamn Redskins and he beat the Miami Dolphins who were those shitty teams. All of a sudden... Carson Wentz, who beats the uh, beats the Redskins, is oh wow! He just came back. He's such a he beat a fantastic play and shit because he beat the Redskins. He praised them, but when Dak destroyed them, annihilated the goddamn Redskins, oh he just played the Redskins. Fuck y'all, man. Let me tell you something. Fuck y'all. You little bunch of bitches. Fuck them, D D. Now you a bitch, man. I'm sorry, you a little bitch, bro. You a cry. You the one of the biggest cry. You I used to respect you, man. I used to, you get the one got me to fuck him can up. You did. You're the one who got me really canned up. All right? I'm going to tell you something, though. You better turn out to be one of the biggest bitches in fucking Philadelphia. And that's the truth, bro. Okay? You better get some good, you better grab some fucking balls. You better get some um, heart, man, and fucking start owning up to your fucking team. All right? I come correct whether my team wins or lose. I don't shy away. I say what's what, and that's it. If you don't like me saying just shit about the team, don't come on my channel. I won't be coming to your channel. You don't like it when I say something. Then you got fucking fans coming out of nowhere. Well, it ain't Carson Wentz's fault. Hey, listen, Dak Prescott's been losing close games before in the past. When he lost games, y'all just said it was him. When he won games, he just said it was somebody else. It was Zeke Elliott. It's the reason why Dak wins. It's the front line of the reason why Dak wins. But when he loses, when the Cowboys lose, it's all Dak Prescott. So... I'm reflecting exactly what the fuck you put on my quarterback. Fuck you. Okay, your quarterback is shit. You don't like it? Tough. 
I don't care. All right. I was. I don't understand. I have never seen this much crying from fucking babies than I've seen from the fucking Eagle fans. Must be out of your fucking mind fucking with me, bro. Listen, let me tell you something. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to continue to say it, okay? Carson Wentz can't beat Dak Prescott. I made bet after bet to y'all, and y'all keep running away because you know why? You know it's true. You all know it's true. That's why you won't take my bet. Lord Brunson with the biggest fucking mouth in all the TTC and all of YouTube and all the fucking sports. He's the biggest fucking mouth and the biggest bitch, okay? He won't take my bet. He won't say a word. He's a punk, okay? So I don't care what y'all say, all right? I don't care what's going on, man. Don't, don't, I'm going to tell you something. I got, that's why I gained so much respect for uh, Darius. I gained so much respect for fucking, um, I'm sorry, um, Fed Q. I gained so much respect from, um, I'm sorry, uh, Nitro Fed. I'm getting mad right here. And Joey Shakes. Even, even Joey Shakes, he, 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 he cries. And I'm saying again, what is it about y'all when y'all lose, the Eagle fans? Y'all sitting in the dark all the time when you fucking lose. Sitting in the dark in the car, sitting in the dark in your house, and the light's off. You know, uh, it's bullshit we lost, man. It's, uh, it's sports fault. Uh, and, and, you know, they won't help Carson Wentz. He's standing in alone. He's alone. He has to carry the team. Maybe that's why his back broke, because he got to carry you. I'm sorry, motherfuckers, right? That's why his back broke. His back wasn't broke. His back was not broke last season. He quit. Five and six. Couldn't, couldn't even get a fucking win. He lost his first, last two games before he, was, before he hurt his back. Last, lost his last two games. He's about to lose three. He didn't want to be the one to say, well, we're out of the postseason. I'm going to just say my back hurt. I'm going to step out here. Yeah, go ahead. Let, let Foles finish. I know we ain't going to make it. But Foles did Foles things. And got y'all back in the postseason. But you needed help. You needed help from Vikings, okay? Dak didn't need no help. He did it all his fucking own. Okay? The two times he won the division, he did it all on his own. He didn't need nobody's help except for his team. That's who, that's who helped him. All right? So, calm yourselves down, bro. Grab some reality and realize that your team was not um, depth. You had no depth in your team. I could see that. Mark Holmes could see that. Law Nation could see it. So many others who could see that you had no depth on that broke-ass, old-ass team you got. Okay? Injury prone from one, t one top to the other, to the bottom. Okay? And you damn sure you had no backfield. Now, I've been saying that before the season started, before camp started. I said the Eagles don't have a backfield, defensive backfield. You don't have one. Am I been proven wrong? Hell no. So, ease yourselves and calm down. And I also want to say this before I go, all right? Um, Giant fans, I want to say congratulations to a fucking fantastic win the, uh, that Sunday. I didn't get a chance to say it because the Eagles, the Eagles fans were all over me. They were pissed off and shit. And so let them be pissed off. But I want to say to the, the, giant, the whole Giant fan, okay, fantastic. I actually, I, I didn't say anything about it Daniel Jones was sorry, this or that. I'm just telling y'all he ain't better than Dak Prescott. Don't try to crown him when he hasn't got them, um, gotten to the throne yet, all right? Don't, he, 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 he ain't even in the throne room yet, okay? But he's spent, he showed some fantastic spunk, man. And I like, I, mean, I like this kid, just like I like Saquon Barkley. Okay, so you got you got a good nice little nucleus there, and you so see you see how your defense prepped up in the second half. You see how your offense prepped up in the six, um, um, especially in during the entire game too. You see that's what happens when you put in a new battery in an old toy. Okay, it starts to work better. That's what happened when Dak Prescott and Zeke Elliott got on the field in 2016. That whole they were the new batteries, and this shit was going. Vroom, 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 vroom. And that's what you see. That's what it is. And it's, I'm, just, I'm just kidding you, but that's exactly what that is. So I, I'm, I'm Rayvon from Virginia, fucking Bad Dog, uh, fucking um, all of y'all, man. Even, even what's his name? Um, I'm sorry, Terry Belly, all of you. Congratulations, man. Y'all may have a real quarterback in your hand. I hope he continues. Especially when it comes to New York. Especially when you go to New York and you have to, you have to play them again. You have, to, you have to face the Purge squad. You'll have to face the purge squad, though. So that's your real test. <laughs> Blessed be our new founding fathers and America, a nation reborn. May God be with you all.